Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the god in me. I see you. I love you, my people. This video right here is I want to talk about or elaborate on how all the planets now are on a 180 degree angle and sharing one side of the sun and how that is connected to you and I, my people. However, before I go further, I want to play a short, quick video here for you. I want you to watch this video with your third eye, my people. Now, anyone. Now, anyone that watched this video or know about iPad Go, you know we can watch this video and elaborate on this video for for a long time, for hours. We can talk about this for hours. However, the part that I want to speak about is the screenshot that I have right here in front of you. If you notice in the in the very beginning of the video, you see the goat inside the the prison cell, which was that's the FEMA camps or martial law, and then you have the shadow government with the last two presidents of the United States. Now the shadow government, as you can see, the dark one with the the green the green hand, and he had the gold on his finger, which is, represents the Kundalini energy and what they're extracting from this earth. Now, if you look, he had the puppets, which was Bush and Obama. And what was Bush and Obama was stating? Fool me once, fool me twice. As I told you before, Barack Obama is not black. You take on the genetic makeup of your mother. If you look at the Illuminati cards, it shows you on that. It had a black person in the front. And then they had a white person standing behind him, which someone was pulling the strings. That royal family and that moon that's up there in the sky. But now I want you to look at the board. Look clearly at this clip on, on at this truck board right here. You see the hangman, and right next to hangman, it has evolution, and it got LOL really at the top of it. Now, the hangman represents us black people. This is they stopped us from our evolving on this planet. When that moon showed up, it tilted the earth off its 90 degree angle access north east south and west should be on 90 degrees we shouldn't have four seasons two seasons three seasons we should have one season which would be hot all year round you don't need clouds to make rain and anyone been on vacation in hawaii the bahamas uh, uh mexico uh dominican republic aruba it rains with no clouds outside and the sun is outside so you don't need clouds to make rain Clouds are the clouds that are being placed up in the sky are hiding objects from you, my people. Now, if you look at the brain that's on the wall, this is the part that I want to speak about. You see the uh, the, the, the the electricity shot straight down the shot, shot straight down the middle of the brain, splicing the brain the brain in two. You have two sides of your brain. You have the left hemisphere and you have the right hemisphere. Now, the left hemisphere of your brain it has the hippocampus. It has the uh, the limbic system and it has the R core. Now the R core is the is part of your genetic makeup. The R core is the reptilian. You have you have, don't say you do, you don't have that because you have web hands and most reptilians have web hands and most re natural web reptilians on this planet have a pineal gland, which means they think and they connect themselves to the universe. Now, and you have scaly skin. Now, the limbic system deal with fear and emotions. If you look at this planet, this planet is never on an even kill. It, it, or, well, it's not the planet. This world that was created on this planet is never on an even kill. It's either up and down constantly. You're full of fucking emotions, either love or fear. You're worrying about your, your bills being paid, worrying about having a job, worrying about your kids safe out in the street, worrying about the police going to shoot your motherfucking kid. The whole nine. This, this world has you constantly up and down in love and, and fucking 
love and fear all day long. It doesn't it doesn't allow us to rest and be at ease at no point in time, constantly keeping you on the edge. Now, the hippocampus, that's your memory. That's this that 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 get wiped out every time we 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 have been we've been dying people every time you die or every time you lose your vessel and you come back down here you don't have the remember the memory that you had uh the, your previous life but however all of that is starting to change a lot of us are starting to come back and get get back bring back our memory from our previous lives this is one of the reasons why they constantly spray in the skies to try to hide your second sun to stop that frequency from hitting your brain but there's nothing they can do about what's what's happening right there there's nothing they can do about it now as we look at this brain that's on this board right here on the right hemisphere of your brain is is the, is the part of the brain is that they are attacking the most that's the part that they don't want you to tap into that's their fear because that that side right there is the side that you can manifest whatever you want you think it it can be your reality right away but they don't want you to understand it they don't want you to understand your gifts they don't want you to understand your power my people they don't want you to understand this is why if you look at the board that's why the dragon is on the right hemisphere of your brain. That thing that's up there in that fucking moon. When that moon came here over 64,000 years ago, it tilted the planet off its 90 degree angle axis. That's why if you buy a globe right now, look at any globe that you buy. You remember looking at a globe on your teacher's desk. The globe was always tilted on an angle because the planet has been tilted on an angle when that moon got here. But now everything is shifting back to its original form. And if you look at the left hemisphere of your brain, the left hemisphere of your brain deal with logic, reasoning. It deals with control. It deals with science. This is why we so create. This is why we so good with our hands, my people. This is why we're so we can do anything. We invented the phone. We invented the car. We invented every the light bulb. We invented the shoe. We invented the the, the heart pace of the, the 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 heart monitor for your heart. We invented all of that, my people. They telling you that they invented it, but they taking it away from you. You invented that shit. They didn't invent anything. They didn't look. On the board, look at the brain with the capital F right there next to it. Now, I'm going to give you a, the, the difference between the capital F and the lowercase f. Here are your capital Fs, your politicians, your judges, and your lawyers. Your lowercase Fs are your school teachers, your police officers, your firefighters, uh, your professors, your school professors. Any of them, they are lowercase F. Everything underneath them are the fucking complete walking dead. You understand? This is how this entity had all of this shit drawn out on this planet. Now, my people, I want to move on forward and I want to talk about this 180 degree angle that the planet is now in. We are all sharing one side of the sun. All of our brothers and sisters on other planet, we are all sharing one side of the sun on a 100 degree, 180 degree angle. Now, what I heard Mr. MB3 state out of his mouth is that this has happened six previous times in the last 120 years. And when I heard that, Mother Universe, you know what I do. I sat right here at my desk. I sat right at my computer. Didn't open up no book or nothing. I just had my phone in the calculator. And Mother Universe was just talking to me. I'm like, this happened six times in the last 120 years? My people, let me break all this math down to you and show you how this is connected to you. And show you how they are adding in right now. Now... Let's start with this happen. This has happened six times, six previous other times in the last 120 years. So again, let's start with the numbers. There is no number past number nine. There is zero to nine. And then if you go after nine, it's zero, which is infinite life, which is which represents mother universe and a black woman. Your womb represents that the circle which is infinite life we don't die they just created death in your mind to make you believe that you die but we don't die so we're going to start with the 120 day this happened in 120 years this happened six times in 120 and 120 years so let's just take the 12 and let's splice the 12 down in the half what's half of 12 six and another half is six so you have to make get two sixes to make 12 120, 120 years, and this happened six times. You got six, six, six. Now, let me say this to you. Now, my computer is acting up, people. So, do, so if I upload this and it's and it, and and you you know it, it get blurry, please let me know because as I'm shooting this video and I'm giving this information up, my computer. I've never seen my computer over the last month, man. My computer been acting crazy. My cell phone, my computer, the whole nine. But listen, it happened six times. And a previous 120 years, which we have now, 666. Now, over those six times that it happened in the last 120 years, proton was the leading energy. 
it was the ruling energy. So it was protons, neutrons, and then electrons when this has happened in the six previous times. Now that this has happened on the seventh time, this is the ruling energy is electrons, then neutrons, and then protons. The masculine energy has been pushed to the back. Now, we're going to start with 180, just 180 alone. You have 180. One plus eight is what? Nine. Now, we're going to go 120 times six. When you get 120 times six, what that come up with? 720. Seven times two is what? Nine. Now, you take a 180 degree angle. Now, remember, everything starts in threes. Everything starts in threes. The same way that the, the universe is made of. The universe is made of protons, electrons, and neutrons. The same thing that you are made of. So, everything starts in threes. So, you take 180 and you times that by three. And what do you come up with? 540. And then you do what? Five plus four is what? Nine. So what you got? 180, one plus, you got 180, you have 180, one plus eight is nine, and then you have 120 times six, which is 720, and then you take seven plus two is nine, and then you have 180 times three gives you 540, and then you go five plus four that equals nine. You have nine, nine, nine. So all these squares that you are picking up around the globe, all these people are recording, they are the bottom of pyramids. All you have to do is go do the research and check, check, check the, the measurements of the foundation of the bottom of the pyramids and you will see that they are all cut on a 90 degree angle. The they are giant squares in the sky. Um, got some new pictures that were sent in recently. One that is absolutely massive. This one here was sent in by Richard, and it's of the night sky. And what he's uh, observing here is this very definitive line between light and dark. Why is it there? That's the moonlight. What's creating that very sharp line? There's a definite contrast there. And it doesn't look that much differently, this side from that side. It looks random, and that's what we look for in the sky. We look for random clouds. And things like that you know even contrails once they're um, laid in the sky from an airplane they don't stay typically you know perfectly straight they'll kind of drift through the sky usually um, this here though being at night and it's just a sharp contrast between dark and light I have no idea but that was a good observation thank you for sharing that Richard this is an obvious chevron type triangle in the sky sent in by William and this is uh, image number one and I think he sent in two okay, here's a little better look at it here it's kind of hard to see but it's there it's kind of tucked in behind um, some layers of other clouds but it's back there and again no idea what caused that this is definitely not a square or a triangle or a chevron Looks like a giant pitchfork. Photographed by uh, Laura in Pismo Beach, California. This was sent in a few days ago as well. And that one is very, very unique. But again, you know, if an airplane were to create those large triangular squares in the sky, and let's say another one went by and it held its formation, well, what would fill in the center like we've seen in the other pictures, you know? Yeah, I get that airplanes maybe can cross lines like that every once in a while and form some sort of a... Um, in fact, I've seen many X's in the sky, but I've never seen that perfect of a uh, square or triangle in the sky from airplanes. That's just too perfect to me. Here's another triangle, big uh, square-looking thing in the sky that was, that was sent in from Santa Rosa, California by Michael. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that. And then here's the great big one sent in from Australia. Uh, Victoria, Australia. This thing is absolutely mind-blowingly big. I wouldn't even begin to guess how big this thing is. That's the original picture. In fact, there were two. Here I've got it um, inverted into negative format. And you can see just how big 
this chevron triangle, whatever you want to call it is, here's another look at it. Extends way back there, almost as far as you can see, and then up here as well. And that's like the front leading edge up to the point. That was huge. Witnessed in Australia. Here's one more look at it here. Totally obvious. There's something up there that just doesn't look like it fits in with the, the rest of the sky. Looks natural. That looks natural. Looks natural over there. This just definitely doesn't look natural. Angle. They are pyramids above your head because they are big, huge spaceships that have other spaceships coming out of them. My people, you can continue to walk around these humans and believe that you're human, and you can continue to mingle with these humans all the fuck you want. But I'm telling you right now, we are infinite light beings. This planet is being returned to the black woman. All that is unnatural on this planet is going to be removed. Those those other beings that were in the, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh dimension, well, I'm going to say the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth dimension, right, that switch sides, that what with these entities, they're going to pay homage to us, too. They're going to pay for the shit that, that, that they've done to us as well because they helped this entity on this planet create these races of people on this planet. And I know that for a fact. They help these, this, this, that, that, this draconian race help this drink. These entities on this planet that was that that our star family created and know and know who they are help the draconian race create these races of people and do the shit that they've done on this fucking planet. And they all are going to pay. So I know that they watch my videos, but this shit got to come out. And I'm not playing no more. Every last one of them going to pay. Every and last one of them going to pay. The tall whites, the short ones, every last one of you motherfuckers are going to pay for what you have done to our race and manipulating us. But it's all good, though, because we're going to. this shit is on an uprising now. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the god in me. I see you. I love you.